question 4.8. We want to find the Laplace transform for the signal xt and we just uh, have to use a shifting property. But what is shifting property? Shifting property says that for a given signal xt, assume its Laplace transform is x of s. So if I shift this xt in time, then I would have x of, say, t minus t, let me write it here. Then I would have x of t minus t0. Okay, this is the time shifted version of xt. Then the Laplace transform for this version, this time shifted version of xt can be calculated, can be found using the Laplace transform of the xt itself. And that's x of s times e to the power of minus s t0. This is the shifting property. So let's calculate the Laplace transform for, let's find the Laplace transform for this xt. Laplace transform of x of t, well, equals Laplace transform of the expression of the signal e to the power of minus t minus tau times u to the u of t minus tau, okay? Well, I can further expand expand this signal well you you agree that i can write this guy here in this form e to the power of minus t plus tau okay then this equals e to the power of minus t times e to the power of tau so i can write instead of laplace transform of this expression i can find the Laplace transform of e to the power of tau times e to the power of minus t times u of t minus tau. All right. And from linear property, We know that if, if for a signal xt, its Laplace transform is x of s, then if I multiply something to x of t, to a small x of t, like alpha, then Laplace transform of this new signal, this uh, amplitude scale signal, equals alpha capital X of S. Okay, so that means you can calculate the Laplace transform of X instead of alpha X and then just multiply it by multiply it by alpha. So that's what I'm going to do here, right? Since this e to the power of tau is not a function of t, I can take it out and put it behind the Laplace transform, exactly like, like what we did here. So, I can write the Laplace transform, I, I do the rest here, equal to the e to the power of tau times Laplace transform of e to the power of minus t, u of t minus tau. Okay. And now from shifting property, we know that the Laplace transform of this guy here, the Laplace transform of this guy here, equals e to the power of minus s tau times the Laplace transform of u of 
C. Okay. So I can I can then replace that by U T and write it in this form. E to the power of tau times log plus transform of e to the power of minus t ut e to the power of minus s tau again i can take this out because this is not a function of t i can take this out and put it here so we will have log plus transform of xt equals e to the power of tau times e to the power of minus s tau times Laplace transform of e to the power of minus t ut. And this, to find the Laplace transform for this guy, for this item here, because it is uh, now simply simple enough, so I can look at the transfer the Laplace transform table here, if I look at the, the table, you see we have this such a signal here. And for such a signal, you see it's Laplace transform is like this. So, so let me write it here. If, if you want to calculate, if you want to find the Laplace transform of e to the power of minus a t times u of t, its Laplace transform equals 1 over a plus s. And this expression perfectly match with the one we have here. And that's when a equals 1. Okay, so that means the Laplace transform for this would be e to the power of, so I can uh, summarize this and write it like t times 1 minus s times Laplace transform of this, which is 1, 1 over 1 plus s. So I can write the Laplace transform of the signal xt like e to the power of tau times minus s 1 over 1 plus s. That's the end of this part.